G'day guys, the student's given me a chemistry problem to do today. Um, we've got propane gas that's used in gas cylinders for barbecues. The equation for combustion of propane is shown below with this enthalpy change. Now the enthalpy change is given by this number here. So basically because we've got um, 2202 kilojoules being produced, this is what we call a exothermic reaction. That's just a little bit of a side note. So, if a gas cylinder contains 45 kilos of propane, how much energy in kilojoules can be produced by the combustion of the gas? So we're assuming that it's going to be the complete combustion. It's worth four marks, so it's not really too complicated to do. So let's get straight to it. The first thing we have to do, like most chemistry calculation questions, is work out the number of moles of propane gas that we have to start with. So let's, first of all, we have to work out what the molar mass of propane is. So let's go to the molar mass of C3H8 is equal to. So we've got carbon, which is 12.01. We're going to multiply that by 3. To that, we're going to be adding hydrogen, which is 1.008, and we're timesing that by 8. Now, if you put that into your calculator, you'll probably find that you get 44.094 .094 grams per mole. to the negative one. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do is we've got to work out the number of moles of propane gas that we have in this gas cylinder when it's uh, fully, fully pumped up with this 45 kilos of propane. So the side note that we will make is that we're going to say that we know that 45 kilos is equivalent to 45,000 grams. So that's an important thing to note because this is in grams, this is in kilos, so there's a bit of a potential for a you know brain fart mistake there. So we can, now we know the mass in grams of propane that we have, we can work out the number of moles. We know the number of moles is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass which is equal to 45,000 grams divided by the molar mass of propane, which is 44.094. And if we put that into our calculator, we get 1.0. 205 times 10 to the power of 3. Cool. And that's of C3H8. Let me just write that down for our reference. C3H8. Now, the next thing we're going to do, and we'll change color for this, is we have to like determine our molar ratios, or in this case, it's going to be our enthalpy ratio, if you want to call it that, I guess. So we know that one mole of C3H8, or propane, produces 2202 kilojoules of energy. Cool. So then what we can say then is therefore 1.0205 times 
10 to the 3. Moles of C3H8 is going to produce 1.0205 times 10 to the 3 times, sorry about that, times 2202 kilojoules. So that's how many moles we get. That's how many kilojoules per mole we this reaction produces. So that means that obviously we're going to, if we, once we multiply them together, it's not a very complicated bit of maths. We are going to get 2.25 times 10 to the 6 kilojoules. And that is our final solution. So, yes, I can imagine that if you haven't seen one of these problems before and you get this kilojoules example where you're asked to find the number of kilojoules of energy produced, you might think that there might be some black magic formula that you might need to use, but it's there is none. It's simply we use a molar ratios. We find that we have one mole of this produces 2202 of that, and we once we know that that's all we have to do and find the ratios, then we just have to figure out the number of moles of this one that we need, that we have, sorry. Because once we know what how many moles of this we have, we can then just multiply it by the ratio and we find out what our answer is. So, and you can say 2.25 times 10 to the power of 6 kilojoules and that's going to be produced. Because it's exothermic, it's not going to be absorbed, it's going to be released to its surroundings. So the barbecue is going to be supplied with 2,250,000 kilojoules of energy. So not a complicated question, but I hope my little explanation helped. Um, if, you, if it did, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos most days. And if you want to, you can send me any problems that you may be having. I'm always looking for a new one. But until next time, I'll catch you later.